Nice. Let's have a quick reload. We've got like 700 rounds. 700 rounds. We've got fucking... Um, we've got fucking night vision. Dude. Can we get like a game where we just play as these guys? Like, you know, proper badass equipped up and go hunt something heavy. Can you imagine how cool that would be? Oh, dude, this is sick. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. You got nothing. You got nothing. Right, so there was some stuff. Oh, I see. Okay. Fine game. Fine. There's no way Ethan's dead, though. But the Muta Micey stuff. I mean, that keeps like a copy of everybody. Who's next? We don't need backup. Come on, Chris. We've been doing this since uh, 1996. We're good, dude. We're good. I'm wondering if we can find a little bit more lore out about this. Whoa, this place. Like, every time we come back here, something's different. And I guess this time, it's just gone crazy. The mold has kind of disengaged and popped the surface. There's more of them? There has been more? This mutamycy stuff, huh? I'm guessing... Oh, hello. Get off me, you fucking ugly bastard. Look at that. That's a proper punch to the chops. Proper punch to the chops. I mean, don't get me wrong. Ethan did a good job. Ethan did clear a hell of a lot of them out. Reload, come on. Get another magazine in there. Oh, hell. We're getting... We're getting surrounded, Chris. Should have brought a shotgun this time. Okay. Yeah, Ethan must have cleared out a huge chunk of the colony. I guess it's up to us to finish the rest off. But then I guess you probably can't finish this entire colony off. I mean, the souls of everybody that have been taken by the Mutamycy is in the very ground. Because as we read before, it kind of stores data. It's data st Oh, hello. It's data storage. But why have they kind of become lichens this time? Seems a bit strange. Is it to do with this particular strain? Come on, you two. You could have come down at the same time. Unless it's to do with the movies at the, uh... Unless it's all down to the fucking movies and literature these things are brought up on. Maybe instead of reading books about mold... Oh, God. Instead of reading books about mold, they were reading books about werewolves and vampires. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I can see the swarm. I can see the swarm. Oh, God. Are we up against the... Yep, we're up against the border. Great. That's fine. 
Reload, please, Ethan. Uh, you're not Ethan, you're Chris. I'm sorry, Chris. Yeah, just taking out the trash. We've got a bit of a furry problem here. Ow! It's hard to reload in this game. So, are they bad guys? The BSAA? Yes, the target locator is working, but I've got a bit of an issue here. Right. Are they? Well, I mean, they're using bow and arrows. Ow. Oh, you're kidding. Okay. Right, well, make your shots count. Use the medical injector. Ow, get off me. Just punch it. Pretend it's a boulder, Chris. Reload. Switch to your handgun. Switch to the handgun. It's always quicker than reloading. Oh, hello. Looks like we've got some stuff. Ow, that hurt. Yeah, this gun definitely reloads quicker. Seems to do roughly the same sort of damage as well. Oh, okay, more stuff. Right, good. Like, I know how it works, alright, dude. Now, can you actually hit it this time? Because I think you missed. Yeah, well, it about to collapse doesn't really help me. I need it to be ready to collapse, like now, not about to uh, collapse, alright? Alright, when in doubt, needs out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Don't like this. We're stuck. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? How do I get out of this? Yep. Yeah, on it. Let me just survive for five seconds. Okay, big boy is just having a field day with my face. Come on, you ugly fucking bastards. Oh. Uh, the locator is not busted. Not as far... Oh, God. Right, four. Let's just keep moving. Yeah, this is going to be... Okay, I don't know how the hell I can do this with all these guys out. Get off me. Uh. Oh, hello. More stuff. Right, that was needed. Ow, oh, come on. Seriously. Right, four. Here we go, come on. Let's get this one. Nice. Yeah. Oof, okay. That didn't seem to go quite as smoothly as I wanted it to. Jesus. Okay. Mega Mycy has been pushed back. <sighs> right, okay, so we can kind of like run around. Uh, I hope we're not going to kill the Duke. Because the Duke's a good chap. Oh, listen to it. it. Seems to animate at a very low frame rate. But I've noticed all the uh, RE engine games do that. Oh. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I'll come 
prepared the mold in the village with a sample from the bakers and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the e-series the stuff originated here mm -hmm. so this is the original mold so the stuff that we thought was a weaker variant of interesting right, I'm probably gonna cut this video in ooh Probably going to cut this video into two. Ah, oh, he's got a big ball. Yeah, he's got a big ball. Um, yeah, going to be cutting this video into two, guys, because we're just going to keep going. Hello. Yep, you're a big guy. Um, ow. Yeah, let me just take the spiky ball to the balls. Okay. I guess we're not able to do much against this guy at all. This guy is not going down. Can we... Oh, God, that hurt. Why does it take seven or eight animations to reload? I mean, I know it's because I'm getting interrupted, but it's just annoying. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ooh. Oh, come on. What's with the... Okay, this is a little bit silly. Ethan didn't need these. Yeah, Ethan didn't need these tools. Come on, Chris. You're better than this. Can we just, like, punch him? Good. Yeah, well, I hope you can get this shot in the hole pretty quickly. Let me guess, you're going to have to hit him three times. Yep, we're going to have to hit him three times. Same as the Megamycine lump that we had outside. Okay, that's going to hurt. Yep, that's going to hurt. Come on, you big bastard. Can you reload, dude? Because I've got a bit of a situation down here. Where should you point at the big guy? If you're looking in, you should be able to see where I need that round placed. Ow. That was stupid on my part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're ugly and your breath smells like tuna. Ooh. Oh, thank God. Come on. Come on, just die. Ugh, thank God for that. I'll keep going. The rest of you stay. Giant crystal mace. Yeah, that was definitely a little bit tedious. Definitely a little bit tedious. Okay. Let's go. can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. I'm glad they brought that up. Because we were all thinking it. And this is killing my computer. Ooh. Oh, God. It's the Megamycin. That looks like a baby. I guess that's going to be Rose. That's cool. Alpha the squad. I've located the Megamycene. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time.
I need some serious mold spray to deal with that. Two explosives on. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Notice. I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. That really is just a giant baby, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, you really should have told him, Ethan. Uh, Chris, like, you really should have. That's absolutely on you, dude. Just saying. Just saying. But Ethan's dead, right? I mean, he had his heart removed. This must be Miranda's lab. Ooh. This is where Miranda's been all this time. So, was Miranda the old woman? We've got the fucking Necronomicon here? So, that's Monroe. So, Caddo Affinity Low. Brain function surprisingly low. The Cadu has caused drastic changes to the internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division, causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects, an unfit vessel for Eva. So Eva is the kid's name. Okay. So, Demetress. Um, so, the affinity, mostly favorable. Brain functions normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal any wounds within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Note, due to hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollable. Unfit vessel for Eva. Hmm. So, Carl Heisenberg. Incredibly favourable. Um, Cadu affinity. Um, his electric electric organisms similar to the electric ray uh, these electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system can therefore pass and control electricity through the entire body allowing control of magnetic fields which is used to move metal splendid specimen but still an unfit vessel for Eva <clears throat> so Donna Favorable affinity, brain functions normal, although severe mental illness. Physically, she's no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal-producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamycete. Uh, when humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can use them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally undeveloped and has divided her cadu among her dolls in order to control them from a distance oh so she somehow divided the caddy caddy so they're using this to control the bioweapons uh yep so that's monroe Guess that's Mother Miranda. So she was a scientist. What the fuck is that? Yeah, so I'm guessing she was a scientist.
Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I'm incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such a mortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations uh, I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and uh, humanity is on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realised, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mould would not have aided me in my endeavour to achieve an exponential infection, though a virus would be more effective. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I found the key to evolution, the progenitor virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. We will call it Umbrella, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I'm one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you'll be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much, and for that I will be ever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswald E. Spencer. Ooh, there it is. There it fucking is, right there. There it is, so that's... No way. Yeah. And she... Apparently is, well, she's very old, put it that way. So Oswald E. Spencer, she found him dying, I guess. What is this shit? And she uh, nursed him back. Very interesting. And taught him a thing or two. Look at all these cartoons. Like, is that from that? Did they find this thing buried? And cutting it up and cutting it open. They've extracted these things, which they then implant into people. Some very dusty old scrolls, I guess. And that's got to be her. And she's just trying to bring back. So that looks like Mia on the end. I guess they're trying to bring back her daughter, which we still don't really know much anything about. My Eva, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then. But now I can bring you back to life from the Megamyce. I've had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Megamyce regulator. The giant's chalice. The giant's chalice is actually... Okay. All that is left to do is to merge her with the Megamyce and the ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again. And that's when I found out the Megamyce completely by accident when i touched the black substance my mind was overcome with knowledge the megamyce breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished i knew that if your consciousness was in there too then there would have been a way to bring you back i just needed the right vessel when i returned to the village i implanted the villagers with mold from the megamyce that way i could control them experiment on them I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called the Kadu. Hmm. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There was some, like Lady D, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. 
I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA, but all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them and I know she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I've waited too long to see you again. Ha. Huh. But it's not going to be her though, is it? Not really. And that's a very old photo of her with the baby. All this because a mother lost a child to Spanish flu. Okay. Really? Show me your hands. I'm Bryce, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it! You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is gone. Oof. I couldn't save him, but I can save Rose. But is Ethan really dead, though? Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Go on. Um. What? Mia can. Uh, Ethan can regen? Is he immortal? Why? Is it to do with the mold? And he. Right, I am going to cut this video off here, guys, because we are clocked into an hour. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to see how much longer we have left on this, and uh, hopefully we're going to finish this. I have been recording this game all day, um, and I can't take myself away from it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it that much. So, we have an hour-long episode to split into two. Uh, and then however much longer is left, but there's quite a lot to unpack here. Like, Ethan is invincible, question mark? Is that due to the mold infection? Because he did go inside the um, uh, Mutamyce. Huh. Okay. Well, see you in the next one, guys.